Across the nation, April has brought floods, storms, and high winds causing dangerous situations, most notably in Mississippi and Arkansas, but Iowa has been affected too. Daily Iowan TV's Nick Fisher went out to see what to expect here at home for the remainder of the severe weather season. Take a look. Sunday evening's tornado, which ripped through Keokuk County in southern Iowa, left two dead and caused severe damage to barns and buildings, including the Oskaloosa Family Medical Center. Although it is nearly impossible to predict a tornado's arrival, there is hope for this being the last twister of 2014. There's an El Nino that is expected to develop. Uh, if we have an El Nino, we tend to have cold, wet springs in Iowa that don't produce a lot of tornadoes here. In the Iowa City area, alerting patrons of severe storms is crucial. Sirens placed throughout Johnson County sound whenever there is confirmed tornado sightings, 70 mile per hour winds, or golf ball sized hail. They hear the sirens going off. Uh, best thing they can do is, is go inside, uh, seek shelter, um, and tune into local media uh, to, to find out uh, what's going on and what they need to do to, to stay safe. Earlier today, I went out to find what UI students do when they hear the sirens. I, I always take cover. Uh, that's how I was taught, even in my own home. Pretty much what we were doing. Uh, usually take cover, just play it safe. The university advises students to remain calm when the sirens do sound. Nick Fisher, Daily Iowa TV. To receive free text alerts when severe weather hits Johnson County, go to jecc-ema.org.